Good evening. Welcome to the Candago Academy Theater. If the fire alarm should sound, please proceed to the nearest exit located at the left and right front and rear of the theater. Please take a moment to power down electronic devices as they are distracting performers and other members of tonight's audience. Thank you for familiarizing yourself with the concert etiquette information located on the back cover of your program. Enjoy the performance. Good evening. Welcome to Canandaigua Academy. My name is Sean Perry and I'm the choir director here. Uh, in front of you right now is the tenor bass choir. This is a group of uh, tenors and basses in grades 9 through 12 who just decided one day that they want to get together once a week and, and have some fun singing. Um, our first song is going to be a sea shanty because if you're going to get a bunch of tenors and basses together, you've got to do a sea shanty uh, called Bully in the Alley.
Good evening. Welcome to our final concert of the school year. It's hard to imagine it's already here. Um, behind me are the fabulous students of the symphonic band, um, and that was Into the Storm by Robert W. Smith. Um, if you're sensing a little bit of a theme throughout our music in our portion of the program, you are correct. We are playing all music inspired by one of my favorite parts of summer, storms. So every piece is, has got this uh, little bit of power uh, behind it. Um, I'm gonna date myself a little bit here, but uh, when I was in high school, one of my favorite movies was Twister. So much in fact that when I was newly married and I found out that we were moving to Kansas, I could not have been more excited to go and chase tornadoes until it was actually there. And then I was scared out of my mind the first time that it was presented to me, so I, I, I just waited it out in our basement. Um, but. Uh, nonetheless, it has still been one of my um, favorite movies, and I think that you're really going to like the main theme from Twister. So you're going to see a little bit of movement because we're going to set up the, the right mood for you here. Um, we have 11 percussionists in this band. So this was one of the pieces that I've been wanting to do for a little while and what better time to take advantage of percussion than to use all 11 percussionists for 11 percussion parts in this piece of music, including some thunder tubes, which you're going to notice are entering and they will surround you with some thunder sounds. So this piece um, is by a very well-known band conductor um, named John Mackey and it's called Lightning Field and it's actually named after an art installation in um, a remote desert region of New Mexico. Um, it's 40 acres large, this lightning field, um, and it's Walter Di Maria that installed 400 stainless steel poles Spikes, really. They're spikes. 20 feet tall. And there's a little bit of roll to the land. So some are a little bit larger than the rest. But the tips are all in line so that it creates this one plane. And they're equally spaced in a grid that is 220 feet between each of these big spikes. 
it is just a breathtaking feature, just the way that it is for art for art's sake. But it also creates what you would imagine when there is a thunderstorm out there in the middle of the desert and you have 400 stainless steel spikes. So it is just a, a, a lightning field um, to, to, be, to be reckoned with, right? So this work um, uses uh, a bunch of different uh, percussion and um, uh, different hits and different things um, to make it um, really feel those um, powerful lightning strikes and, and nature's power unleashed. At the very beginning, you're gonna hear um, some prepared piano. There's actually a chain spread across the strings in the piano. Um, it makes it kind of sound like a harpsichord. Um, and you're gonna hear in the mallet percussion in the piano, these equally spaced quarter notes. It's supposed to invoke those 400 spikes. And then the fury is gonna be unleashed. We hope you enjoy lightning field.
All right, our final selection of the evening is something a little bit different than what you've heard so far. So we like to usually end in some kind of march or something, but this was a super cool polka that I found. So Johann Strauss, you probably heard before, like Blue Danube, he's the waltz king. Well, this is not that, okay? Um, so it's, it's called Unter Donner und Blitz, Thunder and Lightning, and it always looked like Donner and Blitzen whenever I was looking at the score, so I thought it was Christmas music for a very long time. So um, it was arranged for band by Alfred Reed, but this is originally for orchestra. But you're going to hear the thunder, and you're going to hear the lightning in Thunder and Lightning. Um, you're you're going to hear the, the rumbles of the thunder coming, um, and this is just a really uh, cool waltz. I'm stalling for time while our percussion and everybody gets back on stage. Um, but I, I do want to give a heartfelt thank you to all of my colleagues, everybody here at the Academy who is so incredibly supportive of our music program, um, of all of you who give so much of your time and energy getting these students where they need to be with all of the things that they need to have with them. Um, and especially for these guys, I mean, every single challenge that I have placed before them, they have risen to this year. It's just been an absolute pleasure to be in front of, of this group of musicians. Um, we, we chose momentum as our word of the remainder of the year when um, we, we chose a word at New Year's and they have just ran and they've had so much momentum and they've made so many changes in strides this year. So um, I encourage them to keep that momentum going as they, they leave the, the halls um, for the summer and come back and um, I, I know that they'll keep doing wonderful things. So thank you guys for a great year. Here's some thunder and lightning.
Also doing a themed concert tonight, um, and that is choral classics. Okay, all three of these are standards of the high school and collegiate choral repertoire. Um, I'm mostly making it up on the spot that that's our uh, a purposeful theme, uh, but it does work out that we're closing out with a bang with a bunch of um, with a bunch of mixed chorus hits. This is the mixed chorus an ensemble of ninth through twelfth grade students. Um, and next up, we have a song by uh, famed chorus composer. Uh, Morton Lordson, Direton.
Thank you very much. Uh, we've come to the time in our evening when we need to say goodbye to a bunch of the people in our choir. Uh, we have a bunch of seniors graduating tonight. We just take an opportunity to recognize them for their achievements throughout these four years. Um, and we'd like to start by, um, by recognizing a few, um, a few of our standout students who have really put themselves forward as, as leaders in our program. We have two local awards to give out. Um, first, the Ray Russell Memorial Award is given in memory of his impact to music education in the Canandaigua City School District. The CA Music staff selected this recipient for the variety of ways she has positively influenced her peers, raised the quality of our program, and demonstrated a lifelong love of music. This year's Ray Russell Award goes to Addie Rudolph. The next award uh, serves as a memorial to Marshall Simonson and his extraordinary musical achievements at CDA, CA and participa participation in the NISMA Conference All-State Chorus. This year's recipient was also a member of the Conference All-State Chorus and continues the legacy of outstanding musicianship at Canandaigua Academy. Congratulations, 2023 senior Naomi Quillard. National School Choral Award is given annually to a senior in recognition of singular merit, ability, and achievement in the field of vocal music. The student has participated in every vocal music offering at CA and has taken a leadership role in each of them, this year serving as the chorus president. Congratulations, 2023 senior Carly Stevens. Sorry, quick edit on that one. She's not just the president, of course, she's the president of music because also instrumental music and triumph. Yeah. Not triumph. And goes to instrumental music and chorus. So it's like, when she get, when you get both of them, president. <laughs> All right, and of course, we want to recognize all of our seniors. So seniors, when I call your name, please step down. We're going to give a CA one clap after each name. Um, Kate Bentley, Gwen Bishop, Mason Burke, Naomi Coulard, Mel Dean, Gabby Farr, Mel Kahn, Thomas McGee, Natalie Mullen, Rhiannon Reynolds, Addie Rudolph, Carissa Scorsone, Rosalie Siciliano, Carly Stevens, and Jocelyn Will. One last thank you on behalf of the chorus uh, to Mrs. Huff, our accompanist for the year. <laughs> Elevates every rehearsal, every concert. Kids are so excited when she walks in the room because that means I'm not at the piano uh, and she's their biggest fan. So, um, so very grateful to have you, thank you. Okay, hey, for our last piece, we're going to do a tra tra traditional spiritual called the Ain't No Grave. Um, and uh, this piece includes um, some sign language as a way to um, uh, expand the accessibility of the piece to a broader audience uh, because um, all audience members listen first with their eyes and some audience members listen just with their eyes. So we're going to invite down two students who have put a lot of time and effort in uh, researching how to sign this piece authentically 
uh, and dramatically, maintaining both the spirit of the piece um, and um, making, it, making it clear and accurate in ASL, but also still making it a piece of performance art. Um, and then they um, also assisted the choir. So come on down, Emma Marshall and Anna Stoes.
Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Greg Kane. I'm one of the music teachers here in the high school, and this is the CA Wind Ensemble behind me. A little bit atypical for me to speak before our first piece, but it's important to introduce our guest conductor for the evening. We are very fortunate to welcome a young lady from Potsdam, the Crane School of Music, who originally hails from Binghamton, and I'm thrilled to present to you for the conducting debut here is uh, Miss Catherine Vanderveer. I'm often worried about snow days on concerts. <laughs> and from up here, I don't know if you can see it, I, I feel like we've got one of those smoke machines going on. Um, so uh, 
Don't breathe too heavy out there. Um, that first piece was Tritico by a composer named Nelly Bell, and he just writes, really, he writes music that sounds exactly like that, all of his stuff. It's a, it's a lot of fun to play. That was the first of three movements in that piece. We're going to move on to a much more traditional melody, and that would be a piece that uh, many of us know, inspired by the great Shenandoah region of America. And this is the folk song Shenandoah, but set in a completely new way by a young composer named Omar Thomas. Omar is highly influenced by jazz music, and you'll hear um, some really beautiful shadings of those colors in not only the harmonies he chose, but also in a couple solo voices which shine through near the end. Please enjoy. Thank you. 
I was told earlier today that I maybe talked too much on this concert. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I'll split up my remarks just a little bit and say a couple thank yous before our third piece while we rest our chops here. But um, there's just a great number of uh, people who I'd like to just say thank you to, and in really in no particular order. Um, Gayton Wyman and Pat Hutchings are two employees of our school district who have single-handedly fit every student with concert attire over my entire 17 years in the district. Thank you, Gayton and Pat, for making these kids look so good. And whenever possible, it's always amazing when we can, as a school district, connect with local vendors. And Star Cleaners has been a huge advocate and a support for what we do every single day. I also want to give a shout out to Sweet Expressions for the incredible CA cookies that they make for our seniors every year. And in addition to Rock Castle Florist for their help with our boutonnieres tonight for our seniors. A little thank you for those folks. Matt Rogers and Angela Hurlbutt are the two adults who are helping to run all of this this evening. I believe, believe I saw Kurt Knobloch's car out front as well. To those three, thank you so much all year long for giving these students in this building and our middle school. And even now we're streaming stuff from the elementary school. It's incredible, we're so lucky. Thank you to our technical assistants tonight. And certainly last but not least, when we um, got the rosters put together in, in late August and uh, you know day one of school kit, we didn't have a tuba player this year. And that is just such a challenging situation and a scenario for any band. And this is an unbelievable group of musicians. I reached out to my friend in the library, Mr. Bateman, and I said, hey, would you be interested in spending some time with a bunch of students first period? And I think probably by my math, he's probably given up 70 prep periods this year just to be with these kids um, and come on in. He's an incredibly gracious human being and a great musician. So in the back on keyboards all year is Mr. Bateman from our school library. Thank you, Mr. Bateman. Okay, let's make some more music. This next piece of music is by a composer named Percy Granger. Percy wrote a tremendous amount of very quintessential band music, things that everybody in band plays at some point. It shared with our students here on stage that something that's hard for us in band is that we don't have words. We really admire um, vocalists for that reason because it's hard to tell a story. I invited every student on stage um, to sort of tell their own story with this next piece of music, Country Gardens. Country Gardens has a very lighthearted and a joyful and sort of a buoyant feel and, I, and there's a lot of energy. So I invite you as well to just think about maybe some sort of pastoral scene or moment in your lives where um, your interaction with nature, perhaps not today, but um, <laughs> your interaction with nature has sort of brought a, a joyfulness in your, in your life, because I know that I'm thinking of one myself this evening.
Okay, similar to Mr. Perry's presentation, we would like to take a couple of moments to recognize a couple of outstanding seniors who have gone above and beyond. And that is no easy feat, especially when you consider that there are 21 of them on stage tonight. Um, there are a couple of local awards and national awards, and I'd like to start by recognizing our national awards first. Forgive me because the first one is not in your awards program that I hope was handed out earlier, but um, so I'll read the whole definition of this one. It's not one that we give every year, but as a staff, we collectively agreed that this was important to pass out this year. The Semper Fidelis Award is presented by the United States Marines Youth Foundation and the Marine Corps League in recognition of diligence, dedication, and musical excellence as a performing high school bandsman and soloist. As a department, we would like to award this to stu two students, excuse me, Jared Bjorling and Isaac Coletti. Yeah. There are two quintessential awards that are given to first jazz ensemble and concert band. And the first award I'd like to uh, present here this evening in those categories would be our Louis Armstrong Jazz Award. And that is being presented to Alex Carnavale. And the third and final national award that we would like to present is going to a student who has achieved a tremendous amount on their instrument. Okay, right, yeah. there. Hmm. <laughs> the John Philip Sousa Award, which recognizes John Philip Sousa, who is one of the uh, most quintessentially famous uh, band composers and perhaps March master in America, is being presented to Mary Erlinger. <laughs> Mary has a lot of flutes in her hand, so I didn't want her to let go of anything there. Okay, um, terrifically personal to our Canandaigua Music Department are our local awards, and many of these awards uh, recognize um, perhaps teachers or community members who have played a, tr a significant role in the development of our, our department. And the first local award I'd like to share is in honor of Bill Boys. Bill Boys was a music educator in the Canandaigua District for many years and also the curriculum area lead teacher. Uh, Bill was a terrifically spirited man who was a great uh, leader and someone who inspired others. And with that, as a department, we would like to present that to Rosalie Siciliano. And lastly, um, in honor of one of our colleagues who used to teach in Canandaigua, he taught German for many years. His name was Mr. Peter Nelson, and Pete passed away suddenly several years ago now. Uh, Mrs. Chase and I were fortunate enough to spend many lunch times with Pete. Although he taught German, he came down to the music department every single chance he could. He was involved in everything, and he was someone who you would see at a chorus concert, certainly in all of our school musicals, and also in some jazz settings as well. As a department, this is a very special award to us because so many of us knew Pete, and we are thrilled to present this to Mason Burke. Uh-oh, Mary, I'm dropping things. No, that wasn't, oh, my back, just kidding. Okay, 
I'd like to take an opportunity and recognize the 21 seniors in the Academy Wind Ensemble this year. Guys, when I call your name, let's make a nice straight line right up front here, okay? I think we should start in the back of the room. What do you think? Okay, for a percussion, how about the old one clap? So we got Mason Burke, <laughs> Catherine Siwinski. I fooled you, you have to wait until the name is, okay. Braden Whitcomb, Jared Bjorling, Jack Lammers, Michael McFetridge, Brooks Keys, Parker Ashworth, Sydney Hartpence, Ella Rollins, Ali Bucci, Alex Carnavale, Kate Bentley, Lauren Blewett, Rosalie Siciliano, Grace Fletcher, Carly Stevens, I lost track, Lucy Loblaw, <laughs> Kaylee Reinhardt, I'm being evicted. Uh, Isaac Coletti and Mary Erlinger. Didn't miss anybody, right? No, how about a hand for our seniors? So forgive me, but I'm not as brief as Mr. Perry, so I do have some prepared remarks for this cast of characters. Um, it really has been an incredible honor to have made so much music with you all this school year. Um, from our November performance to our first real PRISM concert for some of you, our combined orchestra in January, our very special Nazareth College performance this year, some of our times together in Nashville, of course, our rite of passage, marching in the Memorial Day Parade, and all the way up to your last concert on this very stage tonight. It's extraordinary to me to think that I could have a band with 21 seniors in it. It's the most that I've ever had, for sure. Um, over the last nine years, you all have lifted each other up, and you've encouraged, encouraged one another. You've inspired each other, and you've somehow kept this incredible crew together in a way that is both remarkable and special. You are an amazing and diverse group of humans. I can't see you all. <laughs> and uh, you have incredible bright futures ahead of you, and my heart is truly full when I think about the potential standing before us on this stage tonight. And while this is about you, I'm going to talk about me for a second. Um, but in a, in a recent conversation that I had with a student in my office, I admitted to this person that, listen, I can be a lot. I can be a lot. And at 7.30, I know I'm a lot. But one of my quiet goals every day is to make every day with you all feel like it's an all-county band rehearsal. I love to work hard. I love to play hard. And I love to take big chances with you all. I hope you know that I respected and cherished every minute of our time together. But as I wrote this, I also felt like I should quickly apologize for a few things from this school year. So listen, whatever happens every day at 7.57 a.m. when my attention deficit just crashes spectacularly, that was a wild and strange trip every day. I'm sorry, thank you for your patience. There were some good stories that popped out just before eight. I think the caffeine started to wear off. Okay, number two, I'm really sorry for comparing music making to pregnancy and childbirth so many times this school year. It was really genuinely weird and uncomfortable. I may have done some social emotional damage. I apologize. I might need some therapy myself. Okay. Um, and then most recently, I kind of apologize for telling you that teaching seniors in June was kind of like hospice care, that everybody just needs to be comfortable until the end of the year. I mean, it's kind of true a little bit, but like, <laughs> so, okay, it's not about me anymore, ready? So listen, as you take your next steps from CA, I hope that life after high school is filled with curiosity, enthusiasm, love, and of course, good humor. I hope that you remain eternally optimistic. It is always easier to be negative, trust me on that one. And that you work really, really hard at whatever it is that you do next, because if it's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Please continue to follow your beautiful hearts, because if you find something that you love to work on, trust me, it's pretty easy to forget that you're actually working. And my goodness, please know that I've loved working with each of you every single day. You don't ever have to stop playing your instruments. So my little PSA here, okay? Um, even if it's not next year that it comes back out of the case, remember that it will always still be there for you later in life. 
I have known many octogenarians, if not 90-year-olds, who performed on their instruments. Thank you all for an incredible school year. It's been an honor to be one of your Canandaigua music teachers, and your legacy is going to be felt for many years. Bravo, and how about a hand for our class of 23? Okay, now that we all feel really good, we're gonna present a real war horse. <laughs> this last piece is a piece of music that when I've shared it with all my band dorky friends, I say, hey, we're playing incantation and dance on our last concert, and they go, oh, I remember the first time I got to play that piece. So I'm really thrilled to be able to make such great music with these guys on stage. Thanks for being here tonight and for being so supportive throughout the entire school year. In your program, there's a couple more opportunities to see live music within our school district this year. Thank you, here we go.